So I'm going to make a, a series of videos here uh, demonstrating calculations that are often required for the titration of a weak base with a strong acid. And I'm going to do them my way and not the book's way. And um, they may not always be the shortest way, but it's the way I think about it. And I think that's real useful, especially on an exam. You're presented with a problem and your mind goes blank. And you have to just like start from the beginning and think it through. And that's how I approach these problems. So the, here's the basic question. Um, I think this is uh, problem 73 in uh, the third edition of TRO. Um, and we're just going to do, do all the parts of that. So the question is, consider the titration of a 25 mil sample of 0.175 molar methylamine. Here's the KB with 0.150 molar HCl. So this is a weak base being titrated with a strong acid. And first we're going to calculate the initial pH. So initial pH, well, that's going to depend on um, how much this weak base dissociates. I'm going to call the base B because all those letters get tedious. So what happens to a base in water? Well, a base plus water, the base will take a hydrogen ion. It will then become positively charged, and then we'll have OH minus. And that's just the basic thing that bases do. Didn't mean to be punny there. Um, and then we can set up an ice table and say, well, what's the initial concentration of the base? Well, that's 0.175 molar. And that doesn't matter. And these we're going to call zero. And then what's going to happen? Well, it's going to proceed in the forward direction. That's the only thing it can do. So this is going to lose some amount x. And these are each going to gain x because there's no coefficients or anything. So we don't have to worry about multiplying by 2. So at equilibrium, we get 0.1. 0.175 minus x for our concentration of B, and these are each going to be x. Kb is the equilibrium constant for a base, and that's going to be the product concentrations divided by the reactant concentrations. There's no squares or cubes or anything because there's no coefficients here. So then we can plug in these x terms that we figured out. On the top, it's going to be x times x, which is x squared. And then the bottom is going to be 0.175 minus x. And we know what kb is because I looked it up and wrote it down on the slide. It was not actually given in the problem. You had to go look it up. So this is standard equilibrium calculation. Since we have our lovely calculators that solve quadratics for us, I prefer to just plug it in and not worry about the x is small approximation. So that's what I'm going to do for these problems. So I'm just going to prop, uh, put this into my solver. Um, let me double check. I did it earlier. I just want to make sure it's still in there correctly. And then I'm going to solve for it. And I come up with x equals 8.55. Um, we've got three, two significant, well, I'll, I'll go with an extra one. 8.558 times 10 to the minus 3. And at this point, we sometimes forget what we were doing in the first place. It's like, yay, we got x. But wait, what's the question asking for? It's for the initial pH. x is equal to the hydroxide ion concentration. We can get pH from that, but it is not the pH. So I'm not going to go into details of this. 
but uh, one way to do this is to calculate the POH, which would be a negative base 10 log of the, P of the hydroxide ion concentration. So um, POH, I don't think that's right. Let me try that again because that's, that's how the day is. 8.558 times 10 to the negative third. There, that's better. I got minus 4 the first time. It wasn't quite right. Um, so 2.0. Um, this would have two sig figs, so zero, I'm going to keep an extra one though, 2.067 is the pOH, so pH is 14 minus that, and 11.93. Any questions? So hopefully that sort of a problem is, is you're pretty okay with by now.